all known life is based upon the element carbon. From your DNA to amino acids to carbohydrates, all are based upon carbon. So why is this? What makes carbon so special? Mostly this comes from carbon's ability to bond with other carbon atoms. This allows carbon to build complex organic molecules. Carbon can form four bonds with other atoms, including other carbons. Examples of this are hydrocarbons, polymers and many more. But carbon is not the only element in the periodic table that can do this. One of the other elements that can do this is silicon, which is located right below carbon in the table. So could life also be based upon silicon? The answer is complicated. While silicon is definitely the best pick when you have no carbon, silicon still has a few problems. First of all, silicon-silicon bonds are weak compared to carbon-carbon bonds, meaning complex silicon-based molecules shall be much harder to make. Secondly, and this is probably silicon's biggest flaw, silicon-oxygen bonds are almost one and a half times stronger than carbon-oxygen bonds. Silicon dioxide is a much stronger molecule than carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis based upon silicon dioxide would be nearly impossible for plants to harvest their energy from. Clearly silicon based life will not be as simple as just replacing the carbon atoms with silicon atoms. What we can say about silicon based life however is that it's likely to be single celled life. This is due to the fact that silicon silicon bonds ain't that strong. Therefore silicon based life will find it difficult to evolve into multicellular life which requires complexer molecules. Silicon based life is also unlikely to evolve in an oxygen environment. Even stronger, oxygen would work like a poison on silicon based life, as for their silicon would react with the oxygen to form silicon dioxide. But what about sulfur? Just like silicon being under carbon, sulfur is below oxygen in the periodic table. Well, nope. Silicon disulfide is also a solid. After all of this, it seems likely that silicon based life would need a hyperthermal environment to survive, as for most silicon compounds being solids at room temperature. And we're talking hot here, like hundreds of degrees Celsius. This environment would also need to be depleted of most, if not all, oxygen. The same goes for water and most other molecules with oxygen in them. This is why silicon based life is complicated, as it's not impossible, but not that probable either. And that's my vision on silicon based life guys, I hope to see you again in the next video. If you want to see how I made my own silicon based life forms for the CWP, check out the CWP wikia link below. If you are interested in xenobiology and world building related topics such as these, then join the CWP's new discord server. I got a lot of comments from you guys, the forum was hard to access, so I created a discord server and moved the project there.